with more leftover makeovers that you have to see to believe and taste to believe. Back to us next. Well, we challenged our viewers to empty their fridge and create the most delicious meals they could using what they had lying around. Take a look at the pictures of what At Lil Slipper made. She took these chicken breasts and turned them into, wait for it, potato chips. Chicken, chicken chips, chips, I should say. <laughs> Is so that wild? Clever. So we're gonna put the recipe online at DrOz.com, but apparently she uses gelatin to make the transformation. It's oh. wild. Oh. Alex, what's the next one? So at Nikki's Guide, took rice and beans and turned them into veggie burgers. That's smart. Oh, that's what? That's nice really cool. smart. Yeah. I like that. That looks really good. It does mm -hmm. look yes. delicious. I love, I love a veggie yes. burger. I, I love that like wedge you. of onion. I could get lost yes. in there. Yeah. <laughs> you can find all these recipes on DrOz.com slash the dish. Our viewers aren't the only ones we're putting to the test. In fact, Jamika recently got challenged by my dad to make over her leftovers. Take a look. Yes. <laughs> Jamaica. Hey, Jamaica. Hey, oh my goodness. Hi, Dr. Alice. So I got a little challenge for you. I love challenges. Is that a refrigerator behind you? It, they have, here's the fridge right here, yeah. All right, tell me what you got. Just the first things you see in your fridge. Uh-oh, okay. I got some yogurt. I got some, oh, I got some chicken, chicken fajitas. I got some rice. I got a lot of junk in there. <laughs> so here's the challenge. Take those leftovers, whatever you got in the fridge, you're allowed to use that. You gotta craft something great tonight. Are you up for it? All right, I got it. I'll see you later. <laughs> so right here, I have chicken fajitas from two nights ago, and it's just grilled chicken with little peppers and onions, and I'm gonna transform this into my curry chicken skillet dinner. You're gonna love this. So in a pan over medium heat, I have a tablespoon of olive oil. And to this, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of curry powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a tablespoon of flour. The chicken, pour that right in there. Perfect. It's gonna take on a whole new flavor here. It's time to make our sauce. I have one cup canned pineapple, and we're just gonna add in the juice with it as well. So that's gonna add a little sweetness to our dish. We got a little spiciness going on with the curry. This is so easy. And it just wouldn't be me if I didn't add a little bit of heat. So I have some chili flakes, just, just a little pinch or two. Got some leftover rice here, spoon it over. Make sure you get that sauce in there too. All right, Dr. Oz, what do you think? To me, you have exceeded my expectations, <laughs> except like, you better be expecting more Skype from me. This is unbelievable. All right, when the doctor calls, y'all, you better answer. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll make a house call. And you take leftover curry seriously in your house, don't you? Oh, I do, because I, it's a moment for me. It's like I eat at like 2 in the morning, leftovers. I sit on my kitchen counter in my pajamas. There's nobody to bother me, and I just load it in. It's like my moment. I know, but I will tell y'all, there's a rule of leftovers, okay? Because my husband and I, if you want that leftover, you better write your name on it. You see, he writes his name on it. Don't even think about it. Like, he writes passive-aggressive messages to me. Like, I love that. there we go. That's our secret to a happy marriage. That in the second bathroom. That's, that's it. Write your name and get a separate bathroom. That's how I we stay together. I love pineapple in this. It's so good. It's a nice idea. little sweet little touch to it. And you have canned pineapple in your pantry, so you just do. throw yes. it in there. So yes, yes. Nice I love that you made it look easy. And Caribbean. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on?